If you have seen these videos of ours, then you know that in Hinduism, among the 33 prime gods, 8 Vasus are present. We find the mention of Vasus in almost all the prominent ancient scriptures. They are very powerful in nature and were very popular during Vedic times. They are referred to as Gana Devatas. Ganas are troops who generally appear in classes. Nine such classes are mentioned in the Puranas. They are Adityas, Vishwas or Vishvadevas, Vasus, Tushitas, Abhaswaras, Anilas, Maharajikas, Sadhyas and Rudras. They are attached to Lord Shiva and serve under the command of Lord Ganesha, dwelling on Ganaparvat identified with Kailash, a peak of the Himalayas. The number of Vasus given in different texts varies, though usually only eight are listed. In ancient Indian literature, initially the Vasus were the attendant deities of God Indra and later God Vishnu. They are eight elemental gods, representing aspects of nature and cosmic natural phenomena. The Sanskrit term Vasu generally means the bright ones or light. Sometimes it refers to wealth, brilliance and also to precious. Like Adityas and Rudras, their names also vary in different scriptures. In many cases, some names are synonymous. These varying lists of the eight Vasus in other texts, sometimes only because particular deities have varying names, but the basic gist is that they are elemental gods. According to the Upanishads, they are fire, earth, air, space, sun, sky, moon, and the stars. In this video, we will discuss only the names found in Bhagavad Puran, Vishnu Puran, and the Mahabharata. Let's begin with the Mahabharata's account. The eight Vasus mentioned here are Dhara, Dhruv, Som, Aha, Anil, Anal, Pratush, and Prabhas. They are the descendants of Prajapati Daksha. However, while mentioning their mother's names, we find that the given names are different from the ones provided by Daksha's daughters. Dhara and Dhruva are children of Dhumra. Som or Chandrama is the son of Manaswini. Aha is the son of Rata. Anil is from Swasha. Anal is Shandilya's son. Pratush and Prabhas are the sons of Prabhata. Dhara has two sons, Dravin and Hutahabhyabha. Dhruva's son is Kal, who devours the worlds. Som and Manohara's children are Varcha, Shishir, Prana and Ramana. Aha's children are Jyoti, Shama, Shanta and Muni. Anala's child is called Kumar Skanda. His children are Shakha, Vishakha, Naigyamaya and Prishthaja. In certain opinions, they are referred to as Lord Karthik's brother while in some as alternative names of Kartikeya, which can be possible in multiple kalpas. Anil and Shiva's two sons were Manojava and Avigyatagati. Pratush's son, Rishi Deval. Deval has two sons, famed for their forbearance, forgiveness and their great intellects. Prabhasa's wife is Brahmavadini. She is also a sister of Devguru Brihaspati. Their son is Lord Vishwakarma the architect god. These details are from Mahabharata. Now let's move on to Puranas. According to Bhagavad Puran, Daksha married Asikni and gave birth to 60 daughters. Vasu is one of them. Vasu married Dharma and gave birth to 8 children. These 8 children are known as Ashtavasu. They are Drone, Pran, Dhruv, Ark, Agni, Dosh, Vasu and Vivavasu. Drone married Abhimati and gave birth to Harsha, Shok and Bhaya. Pran married Urjaswati and gave birth to Saha, Ayu and Purajav. Dhruva married Dharani. From whom various towns and cities came into being. Arka married Vasana who gave birth to Tarsha. Agni married Dhara and gave birth to Dravinaka. And from another wife, Kritika, Agni begot a son, Skanda. From him were born Vishak, 
and others dosh married sharvari who gave birth to shishumar vasu married angirasi who gave birth to vishwakarma vishwakarma married kriti who begot chakshush manu in her womb chakshush manu had children named vishwadevas and sadhyaganas vivavasu married usha who gave birth to vishta rochish and atap atap had a child named panchayam now let's see what vishnu puran has to say the names given here are same to shiva puran and also very similar to the mahabharata the children of vasu are ap dhruv som dhara anil anala pratush and pravas if we see this list then we will find that seven out of the eight ashtavasu names are same to those found in the mahabharata only in place of aha we see apa's name the children of aap are vaitandya shram shrant and dhvani dhruva had one child named kal soma's child is named varchas who was the father of varchasvi dhara married manohara she gave birth to dravin hut habbah shishir pran and varun anil married shiva she gave birth to manoja and avigyatagati the son of anala kumar was born in a clump of shararids he is also known as kartikeya his sons are shak vishak nagamaya and prishtaja pratush had a son named deval who had two philosophic and intelligent sons pravas married barastri who gave birth to lord vishwakarma who had four children according to some scriptures the eight vasus are linked with the goddess ganga in krita yuga the wife of the eighth vasu coveted nandini the sacred and magical cow owned by rishi vashishtha acting on her desire the vasus stole the cow prompting the rishi to curse them to be reborn on earth and lose their divine status however upon their plea for forgiveness he amended the curse allowing the first seven to return to heaven shortly after birth while the eighth would endure a long and celibate life since the vasus could not be born to an ordinary mortal ganga took human form and married king shantanu She gave birth to all eight vasus drowning the first seven in the river Ganga at birth while the eighth survived and grew up to be known as Devavrata later famous as Bhishma Thank you for watching this video please like this video and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video